Two brilliant composers who often worked together as a team were John Cantor, Cantor and Fred Ebb. Uh, they were both Jewish. They were both homosexuals, but not a couple. Okay, and one of the songs that they wrote for the um, play Cabaret that was later used in the film Cabaret was the song Tomorrow Belongs to Me. And it was written for a scene that was to illustrate how, da the, how dangerous Nazis were becoming and how it wasn't necessarily, well, going to be easy for uh, more liberal forces to control them. Okay. And anyway, an oddity about it is that that song has been taken as seriously by neo-Nazi types as being a song that, you know, is their song. Now, there's a lot that's kind of weird about that. Um, it was written by two Jews. It was written by two gays. And these groups are both anti-Semitic and homophobic. And they're taking this song as an anthem of theirs. So, in a way, like somebody said, it's in a kind of multicultural hellhole because of the way that it has been used um, since it uh, was created um, for cabaret. Um, I actually saw a posting by someone um, of a, you know, a neo -Nazi, of a uh, YouTube video by a neo-Nazi um, singer of the uh, song Tomorrow Belongs to Me. And that posting said, I'm Jewish, and this song was written by my part, co-written by my uncle, who's been married to my other uncle for about 20 years. Okay, so, you know, um, the history there is kind of odd. But, um, you know, oddity is something I find very fascinating, oddity and irony. And there's a lot of it in life. If there was a God, God would be an ironist. Hope you like hearing that. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And I hope you'll tell other people about me. And help me grow my social media presence. Thank you so much. Bye.